Hello everybody and welcome back to Little Kitty Big City Zoo Expert here. We are diving right back in where we started and thank goodness we are not stuck anymore. So let's just pick up this bone and let's just get out of this guy's way. Nope, you did not see me. And we are just gonna follow him. And we're gonna take this to that dog bone. Actually, we're not gonna follow him. We're gonna make a break for it. Oh, detour. Industrial artist! Leave your paw prints of wet concrete? Are you serious? Wow. That's amazing. And now I have concrete paws everywhere. Sorry, but not sorry. Uh, I can make this. Oh, wait, 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 wait. Don't look back. Don't look back. I think we made it just in the nick of time. All right. So I have the bone. Crap. Did I go out the wrong way? I did. Didn't I? Hmm. I gotta wait for him to pass by again, because I don't... I don't want to get caught. There he is. He doesn't see me. Okay, go. <laughs> and we're off. Alright, we made it. Alright, now let's give this dog his bone. So that we can get by. There. Have it. Whoa! That was, uh... That was a quick, quick move he made there. What's this? What is it? Is that another hat? Oh. My. God. Corn dogs are over. This is the era of corn cats. <gasps> I love that. I love that for this cat. Okay. So, obviously, we have to put it on immediately. <gasps> this is the best. This is really, truly the best. Alright. Now where? Everything's so new! I don't know what to do when it's all so new. Alright. Am I supposed to, like, scale walls here? No. I would like to not get stuck again. <gasps> a shiny? Yeah. We almost have 22 shinies, actually. Alright, so... I don't think I was supposed to go up there. Whoa! What about the trash can? Anything in here? Is this a portal that Tanuki made? No? Oh, you know what? I'm totally playing with my mouse and keyboard, and I have a controller right in front of me, so... I'm just gonna switch over to that. I have a cup. What do I do with this cup? Can I fill it with something? Okay. So this game sometimes um, beats me uh, because I did not know what to do for too long. I need to be on the lookout for these blue bins because this, this is the reason I couldn't get out for so long. Let's just get right out into the street. All right, we are back on track now. So let's see what we can do. Can we mess with some trash? No. Can we recycle some more cans? Yes. Of course. We must. Every shiny matters. So, let's go see if anybody's got a phone. Ooh, look, there's a fruit market. Fruit and veggies. How nice. 
There's another cat. Oh, it looks like me almost. Excuse me. Hi. I was wondering if who could help me. I'm the mayor. If the mayor can't help you, no one can. Thank goodness I found you. You see, your worship, I need to get home and I need shinies and there are all these trash cans and... Mm, one thing at a time, friend. This all sounds like work. Cats are not built for work. Cats are built for mischief and snoring and we are soft, sleepy. Sometimes there is whimsy, sometimes there is pushing things onto the floor. Yes, but... Mm, your enthusiasm is tiring. The mayor cannot help anyone when sleepy. I didn't mean to... Mm, so you must help the mayor achieve nap time. It is only right and proper. I... Your first responsibility as deputy mayor will be the hated jars of jam. Mm. Remove these eyesores from the mayor's vision. But it's just jam? It is a symbol. A symbol that a human no longer fears a cat. They leave their glass jars on the shelves and expect them to stay there. It cannot continue. I guess that makes sense, but when you say remove them... Swipe, push, crash... The breaking of the jars will be a lullaby for your poor mayor. And then you'll help me? The mayor cannot hear you over the noise of symbolic jam. Goodness gracious. Jeez. Frickin' mayor. You want me to, like, just knock down all the jam? Oh, hi, lady. Don't mind me. I'm very sanitary. In fact, I'm cleaner than your own face. Yeah, you heard me. I did it. Oh, I love bananas. Um... I'm sorry. It's what the mayor told me to do, lady. Ah! No, I don't wanna go. Don't make me clean up the jam. But I will, because it's good. Ugh. So, mayor, look at what happened. I... I decluttered. And then she kicked me out. Well, you know what, my dude? You just fell on your own accord. Ow! I want your phone! Oh, gosh. I'm sorry. I gotta go. I've gotta... He's really just angry. Stomping off there, right? Eh. Eh. <laughs> I would like to make you fall over again. Not working. But can you not knock people over when they are, like, clearly enraged? Okay. We're getting off the subject. Excuse me. Pardon me. Man, I really went far. Okay, I'm back in. Whoops. Didn't mean to do that. Hey, look. She's got a picture of his, her cat. Oh, she's literally right there. Hey, I look like your cat friend. Don't mind me. Just gonna knock this over. You don't see me. Alright, so there's one more. Oh, she sees me. Oh, no. You can't get me from up here, right? Alright. Gotta go. Oh! Oh! Alright. What?! That one didn't break! The pears saved it. <laughs> the pears saved the jam. So how am I gonna break it now? Hey. Alright. Let's go see. Oh wait, there's a watermelon being weighed. No. I'm- I weigh now. I am one watermelon. See ya. Wouldn't want to be ya. Oh, sorry. I didn't mean. I didn't mean it. I nuzzle you. 
He's allergic! How dare he be allergic! Okay, Mayor. Perfect. The mayor can now slumber. He really does look tired. Um, before you do, your grace, you said you could help. Hmm, yes, the mayor will now dispense valuable assistance. Thank you for helping me. I will teach you the official way to respond to jam jaws. Wait, what? Or anything else that is terrible. Voila! What's this? This is my yuck face. You may now express disgust at any moment by holding Y. This wasn't quite what... Mm. The mayor has no need of your gratitude, little deputy. Oh, sorry, yes, thank you, or not thank you. And now the mayor must rest, so sleepy, so unable to hear further requests for help. But... Mm. Well... Let's try our new yuck face. Wait. 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 There we go. Oh, there's more things that we can do! Yuck. Wait. Wait. I don't think I did it. Eh. Can't stop the feelings. Oh my god! Oh my god. It's my gag. Nope. Hey, wait. That was really... I'm just gonna retract that. Uh, I sit. It's very really cute. And how about a little lie down? Yeah. Look at those slow blinks. <laughs> I can't. I simply cannot. Okay. Our job at the farmer's market there is all done. But our recycling duty is never done. Can I deposit it here? No. Only in the ones that have a little deposit thingy. There's none over here either? Okay. Ooh! What's this? Now what are we changing our hat to? It's an apple hat! It's better to find a cute kitty in your apple than a worm! I agree. Let's... Let's, uh... How do I... There we go. <laughs> it's so fruitful. Don't you love it? I know, that was terrible. Okay. I need your phone, lady. You are literally on it. Woo! I got away. I'm running. Oh, there's another hat up there on the van. Okay, I think she- I've outrun her. Pretty sure I've outrun her. Is this how I get back into the construction zone? I think so. Just gotta make sure that, uh... Oh no, it's not. It's still a street. Okay. That's uh, this one over here. I think I just saw him walk by. I could be eating my words here. Nope, we're good. We are good. Wow, my paw prints are still there. In the concrete. That's makes sense, but also I'm glad that they kept it. Okay. Here you go, my friend. You did it! Thank you so so much. I forgot what I did for Beetle's voice. Do you want the old one? It still takes pictures. You just can't do emailing or anything. What's emailing? You don't do emailing? I don't think so. So, you've never been CC'd or heard the phrase purr my last message? Nope. Although I do purr all my messages now that I come to think about it. What an absolutely blissful life you must lead, kitty. Anyway, here's your phone. Concrete dip phone. A concrete dip phone, it might not be smart anymore, but the camera still works. Press down to open photo mode and start taking pictures! Oh my god. Taking photos is really simple, you just bring up the camera pose and click in fact you should take a celebratory selfie right now bring up the down arrow camera and get snapping lol snap happy oh my god it literally does freeze frame the entire thing all right hold on hold on we've gotta we've gotta do our thing with a little lie down 
No, I, the meows are very cute, but I would like to do a little lie down. And then picture. And take photo. <laughs> I am living my best life, as you can see. Papa Katsy. Okay. Take 20 photos. <laughs> Spams photos of the same thing. <laughs> uh, just me and my beetle buddy. Chillin' over a concrete yard. Alright. You have fun, my beetle friend. Uh, so long. Now. Where's that exit again? Ah, it's over there. Mm. Aha! I am silent. And I am out of here. Okay. Let's see what else there is to explore in the main city area here. There's some plants I can knock over. Haha. <laughs> this I can pull. There's nothing behind it though. I don't think there's anything under it either. So like, we gotta get home, right? Oh look, there's another dog. That means there's another bone somewhere around here. Whoa! Are you throwing cans at me? What's up with this? Hey, we got another shiny. I think we have enough shinies for the crow, actually. So that might help us progress in the story. If we give him his shinies. And he, in turn, gives us some sustenance. Then again. Whoa, what is this? Is Tanuki up to something? Oh no, it's just a place to nap? Oh. My god. A moment of silence. For the most adorable catnap you've ever seen. And now I'm so refreshed. Okay. <gasps> I spy with my little eye a chameleon. What is he doing here? Is this another friend? Can I... Can I eat him? Oh, I can talk to him. Hi! Hello? Are you talking to me? Of course! You can see me? Um, yes. Astonishing! I've never met anyone who could see through my superior camouflage. Does this mean my power is fading? <gasps> power? Are you a magician? Indeed. In fact, if you can see me, you may be able to see the magician's hat I wear. It lets other magicians know I'm patrolling the area. So they can see you too? Absolutely not. I'm invisible to all. That's why I'm rather surprised to be notified or notified to be noticed by you. For example, I'm so good at disdu- uh, Today is not a good English day, sorry. For example, I'm so good at disguising myself that I can even make my words disappear. Watch this. Say that? No, you didn't, because my words are totally camouflaged. Huh, that is pretty cool. Thank you. It took years to perfect. But if you're a master of camouflage, how come I can see you? Quite. Perhaps it's to do with your eyes being so weird. My eyes are weird? Have you seen them? I don't think I can. You'll just have to tell me. Well, for a start, they're on the front of your face. That's weird. It is? And they don't seem to stick out at all. They're right inside your head, taking up valuable brain room. Maybe I use my eyes for thinking. Can you at least move them in different directions at the same time? I don't think so. Should I be worried, do you think? I couldn't say. I'm a magician, not a vet. However, if you... 
If your weird inferior eyes are truly immune to my vanishing act, then I have finally met a worthy opponent. Wait, what? I must learn to outsmart your weird eyes. I will don new disguises, practice new tricks, engage in the noble art of self-improvement. I don't want you to change on my account. Ah, sweet kitty. So weird, so small, so wrong. No, to restore my reputation as the world's most concealed creature, I must change. It is the only way to defeat your weird eyes. When you say you want to defeat my eyes... I challenge you to find me again, cat. Here? No, I shall leave this place while I adjust my technique. Then I shall reappear somewhere else. Obviously, I will be almost impossible to detect, so I will leave you with a clue to my general location. Ahem. There is a place where hard hats shine, where concrete pours and diggers whine. I'll be camouflaged nearby, invisible to your weird eye. Do you mean eyes? Have you ever heard of a poetic license? No. Well, I have one, and I'm not afraid to use it. Anyway, good luck finding me. Well, it sounds like he just went where Beetle is. And I don't know if I feel like going back there right now. There's another shiny. What an interesting conversation. Such an interesting character. Ooh! I found a bird's nest! And another shiny. And another shiny. So, I want to go back and find the crow. <laughs> My man! Are you allergic? Alright, here we are. Are all of these shinies? Yeah! That's what I'm talking about. Oh, he needed 25. So shiny, so pretty, so reflective. Who's a pretty crow? Are you disposing of them responsibly? Yes. And with that, we have completed our first heroic act together. Can I try disposing of them? Definitely not. These are ancient crow rituals. Well, do I get my reward? Your what? Oh, yes, your reward. On earth, that I see that fish. Ah, uh, just a minute. Wait, crow? Was this a scam? Where did he go? Ah, oh, that dang crow. Here. Whoa, a fish. This should give you some climbing energy. Not enough to get all the way home, but it's a start. Where would I start climbing? There. You're going to need some more fish to make it all the way to the top. Do you have any more? Not right now, but I've seen them elsewhere in the city. Just keep your eyes open and you'll find them. Thank you. No worries. Oh, and keep hold of any shinies you find out there. I've just had an idea. Oh? Where is he going? This is a fish. I'm gonna pick it up. Maybe I should eat it. I'm gonna eat it. Whoa, I can eat it. Maybe I shouldn't eat all of it, but I'm gonna eat all of it because it's delicious. Fishy. This delicious fish is giving you the energy to climb ivy. Give it a try. Feels so much better. Let's go climb some ivy. <gasps> I'm climbing. Wow. The world has just expanded so much. Amazing. Alright, here's a shiny. And another. <gasps> There's another animal friend. Okay, now, do not expect me to make a Donald Duck impression because it's not gonna happen. It's not gonna stick. And I'm probably gonna choke if I try. So. Hello there. I wonder if you could provide some uh, urgent assistance. I think it depends on the problem. Eh? Oh, I see. Quite right. Quite right. I don't want to alarm anyone, yet it's rather a pressing concern. Although perhaps I'm just panicking, but there's no two ways about it. Uh, about what? 
Oh, didn't I say? I seem to have mislaid my ducklings. You know, maybe this should have been a lady duck, but you know what? That's fine. I, it's he's a single dad. Mislaid? Is this a bird joke? I, I don't follow. Never mind. Missing ducklings sound pretty serious. It does, doesn't it? What happened? Well, we were all enjoying an educated tour. I've already lost the duck impression. Of the neighborhood, me teaching the youngsters some local history, etc. For example, you know the robot statue in the park behind us? Wait, did the robot take the ducklings? Oh, dear me, no. That would have been rather out of character. You see, the robot is quite fascinating. Not a statue in the traditional sense, either. Legend has it that a wise duck, not too dissimilar from myself, in fact, would visit this park every day with his robot friend. Very loyal robots. Delightful. Back then, this was a lake, hulking great wet thing where the pair would swim, splashing and frolicking, you know the sort of thing, but robots and water, eh? Eh? All that fizzing and sputtering, not simpatico at all. Rust patches, wet circuitry, exploding knees, the robot, not the duck, I mean. The robot's swimming days were over. Terribly sad stuff, so he asked the duck to change the programming. Quite the feat, if you ask me. Could never get my head round computers myself. The duck helped program the robot to wait in the playground while the duck swam. Grand idea. That and it went beautifully. But one fine day, probably much like this one, truth be told, the duck was attacked by a radioactive monster. Wait, a monster? Gekku. Usually, Gekku is our protector. You know, breathing fire, saving orphans, charity galas, lovely chap. Apart from the rampages, really. Rampages? Oh, yes, humans wake those up in little paper documentaries. Very engaging, really. Paper documentary? You mean comics? So, Deku kidnaps the duck and whoops a daisy, throws him through a star portal. I almost got crapped on just then. Whoosh! Quack! Never to be seen again. And the thing we mistake for a statue in the playground is actually the loyal robot waiting patiently for his friend to return from his swim. I'm not seeing how this relates to missing ducklings. Oh no, it's just a great story. I shared it with the ducklings before we split up to find more neighborhood stories for our little show and tell session. Show and tell? That sounds fun. Eh, oh yes, I thought so. Anyway, we scampered off in different directions, all very exciting in the moment. But, uh, and I suppose this is the crux of the matter, really. I didn't set a time or place for us to reconvene. Aha! Uh -huh. Wasn't sure what to do for the best. Not really a practical duck, you see. But I didn't want us to be rushing around missing one another. Dreadful when that happens. So I retraced my steps back here and waited. No luck? Alas, no. But you seem like a practical sort of cat. Very resourceful. So could we team up? I'll keep watch here. Been kind of enjoying it. Really, and you scout the city? The whole city? It seems pretty big. Hmm, you're right. There must be a way for us to narrow down our search. Eureka! We made a city map just last week. Marvelous thing. Part of the our project to catalog all the different fish hotspots in the city. The ducklings marked each of their favorite places on it too. Such enthusiasm for maps and I bet that's where they will have gone. Here, you take it. My orienting skills are dreadful, but you'll be able to track them down in no time. The ducklings map. A map made by the ducklings is really good. 
just ignore the fish markers. Can't see what interest they would be to a kitty unless you're a budding ichthyologist, of course. I love that. Reunite the family. All right. <gasps> Tanuki! Hello, Tessa Jara, I'm esteemed lab assistant. I managed to get the Petwork TM portals connected up properly. That was quick. It would have been even quicker, but there was a minor space-time incident. Nothing to worry about, though. How minor? In the grand scheme of the multiverse, it was absolutely trivial. Just a teeny tiny set of water pipe explosions that fell out of the future in the other universe and into the recent past of this universe. Hang on a moment, is that where all this water came from? It turns out I'd been using linear space-time when I should have used quadratic space-time. Laughable, really. You want to try it out? It's really cool, and I need a test subject... Uh, friend. Test subject isn't filling me with confidence. That's why I pivoted flawlessly into saying friend. It still sounds risky. Ah, but risk is just a pessimist way of describing excitement. Anyway, if we get this working, you can use it to fast travel around the city. What does fast travel mean? If we get the Petwork TM up and running, you'll be able to zoom between any of the active magical manholes without needing to run or climb. That actually sounds great. Right? But first comes the fine tuning. You in? Okay, let's do it. Don't say no just yet. Hear me out. But I said yes. Firstly, there are... Wait, what? I said yes. For real? Call me curious. Yay, this is so exciting. You won't regret it. Do you need feathers again? Not this time. Your first journey was so short that I had leftovers. Hop in. It's going to work this time. I'm 100% sure. Give or take. Uh oh. Whee. Well, oh no! It's you! You came back! I thought I'd scared you off when I jumped up at the window. That was you? Goodness me, you did give me a bit of a fright. Sorry, sorry, I just get so excited when people come to visit. You're a dog, right? Only the best is best, goodest dog. My human says so. It's nice to meet you properly. I didn't know there was an official best is best dog title. Ah, you know, uh, you may know me by my other accolades. Perhaps the squishiest, mushiest potato or the fuzziest, happiest little pooper. That last one might not be an accolade. It's all in the delivery. Hmm, I... Hang on a moment. Did you say the squishiest, smushiest potato? Sure did. My human calls me that too! Gosh, that award must have multiple animal categories then. It's a pleasure to meet a fellow potato. Likewise. Anyway, it was lovely to chat. I hope you have a good day. Um, don't go. There's this thing that happened. Can you help me, little potato? What do you need help with? I've lost my balls. Uh, my tennis balls are gone. Come through and I'll show you. Oh, oh boy. <laughs> Look, no balls. Um, I appreciate this might be a silly question, but aren't they behind you? What? Oh, those? No, these are just my regular favorite tennis balls. I'm talking about my extra special favorite favorite tennis balls. They're very different. What happened to them? Oh, well, you see, Tanuki built me a present. Ah, let me guess, there was an incident of some sort? Not to start with, it was so cool, you could put tennis balls in and it would throw them for me while my owner was at work. That sounds really nice. It was perfect, for a while. But, um, it also did go rogue one day, balls everywhere, and then it caught on fire a tiny bit. I've got most of them back, but my three favorite favorites are still missing. And the machine? I buried it. But please don't tell Tanuki. She would be so sad. Um, and also, please, 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 can you help me find my favorite balls? I'd be so grateful. Sure, but how will I know if they're your favorites? Don't all tennis balls look the same? 
Absolutely not. Each one is subtly different from the others. The scent, the taste, the texture, the personality. I'm not sure I'd be able to tell the favorites from the non-favorites if that's the case. Well, my favorite balls also have bright rainbow colored stripes. Now if that's a description I can work with. Shall I bring them here when I find them? Yes, please. Just put them in the hole in front of me and I can guard them properly. Sure thing, big potato. You're the best little potato. Aww. That's adorable. Look at us. I think it's photo time. Yeah. Alright. What's in here? Another nap place. Aw, yeah. Okay. I really need to stop getting word poop done. But, I think we will call this episode here. Where we are now on a new quest to not get attention away from a dog, but to give dog attention. Because we need to find his tennis balls. So, on that note, I hope you enjoyed. I will see you in the next episode. And with that, I bid you a farewell. <laughs>